Former President Donald Trump on the campaign trail, speaking out after a judge a judge orders him to pay hundreds of millions of dollars for lying about his real estate company. As NBC's Von Hilliard reports, Trump made a, a surprising announcement today. Donald Trump out of the courthouse and back on the road tonight. This is a big crowd. Appearing at SneakerCon in Philadelphia. We're going to remember the young people and... We're going to remember sneaker con. You're sneaker heads, right? Less than 24 hours after a New York judge ordered Trump and his company to pay more than $350 million in damages for years of fraudulent business practices and lying about the value of his properties, the former president took today to promote a money making deal, having struck a naming rights agreement for a limited edition sneaker line. The most expensive pair in the series, selling for $399. That's the real deal. That's the real deal. An almost surreal scene for a candidate still pursuing his party's nomination for president and vowing to appeal the judge's decision that bars Mr. Trump from running a business in New York for three years. Today, voters we found in the swing state of Michigan had tepid reactions to the fallout from Trump's civil business fraud trial. I think it'll impact them financially, but not in the uh, presidential race. In those at his rally defending Trump. What did you make of the New York judge's decision yesterday? I think it's a hoax. It's all made up. Mr. Trump's remaining rival for the GOP nomination, former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley, in her home state today, one week before the primary there, using Trump's numerous legal issues to make the case for her candidacy. You can't win an election if you're spending more time in court than you are on the campaign trail, you just can't do it. And that was Von Hillier reporting. The Trump campaign sending out multiple fundraising appeals in response to yesterday's decision that could create real financial problems for the former president.